So, hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use Socrative in your classes. And I'm going to look at it firstly from the point of view of a teacher and also from the point of view of a student. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a Socrative quiz and demonstrate the process of how you can build one too. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make an account and sign up. And I am assuming that you already do have one. And let's start. It's important to note that teachers do need to sign up. However, students do not need to sign up. All they need to do is to have the code number to access and enter the quiz and perform the task they have. Accordingly, there are two ways to access Socrative as a teacher or as a student. So make sure you click on teacher login when you want to launch a quiz you have prepared. Once you sign up and you access your account, there are two or actually three very important key aspects that you need to be aware of. first thing is that this is your room as you could see it's titled Rabi1824 and this would also be the password that the students would need to log in and perform the Socrative quiz. The next very important thing you will need is this where you would launch your quizzes and also where you would make uh, quizzes. The others are also quite useful, but these are the two most important ones. And obviously to create a quiz, you just click on quizzes and then you click on add quiz and you add a new quiz. And as you could see, here are all the quizzes that I have uh, created. And to launch a quiz, you click here and you have the option of launching a quiz that you have already created. I'm just going to click on uh, Let's Review Verbs and I'm going to launch that one. When you want to launch a quiz, you have several options. The f these first two are student controlled, whereas the last one is teacher controlled. And the first one means that students will get instant feedback. And the next one is that they just perform the task without getting any feedback. And the last one, of course, is that the teacher uh, controls when the students move on to the next question. Before we do this, I want to show you what a quiz looks like when you launch it. And you're going to exactly see what a teacher sees when they log into their account as a teacher and launch the quiz and exactly what a student sees. So I'm going to launch the quiz I selected uh, and choose the first option where the student controls when to move on to the next question and also the student does get instant feedback for the uh, questions they perform. Once I select how I want to launch the quiz, I click on next. So now I'm logged in as a teacher and I have just launched the quiz and now I want to show you what a student gets to see. Now to do this, it's very easy and simple. It's actually a clever trick where you actually log in uh, on one browser as a teacher and on the other as a student. So I'm already logged in as a teacher, now I just need to log in as a student. And when I log in as a student, I just need to type in the uh, code room I have, which is Rabi1824. It's also important to know that every quiz you launch has the same code room. So it's for every quiz you launch. Next thing a student needs to do is type in their name. 
So as soon as I access Socrative as a student, I can start performing the questions that I have in my quiz. And when I click on an answer, I get instant feedback if my answer was correct or incorrect. Now, if I go back to the teacher browser, I could see exactly uh, how many questions the students have already performed, how many of them are correct or incorrect. Now, if this is projected in front of the students and I don't want to show the names of the students or uh, I don't want to show who got which question correct or incorrect, I have the option of not showing answers and not showing names as well. This is also nice if you're having students work in groups and they get to see uh, a competition, for example, going on where they get to see how many of them have gotten towards uh, more advanced stages of the quiz and so on. So now I'm going to show you how you can create a quiz. So all you need to do is, of course, log in as a teacher. And once you're logged in as a teacher, you just click on add quiz. And of course, you have three types of questions in the quiz that you could have. For example, you have multiple choice, you have true or false, or you have short answers. So now you just need to give my quiz a title. And because it's a reading comprehension text about today's story, Sarah smiles again. So I'm just going to name the quiz uh, that. And now all you need to do is select the type of question you would like to add and you click on it and it's as simple as that so i'm just copying and pasting questions from a worksheet to the socrative quiz so over here i type in the question and then i type in the uh, answers and because it's multiple choice i have to of course select after i type in the four or three options for multiple choice answers i have to select which one is the correct answer and following that i need to also add feedback now in the feedback section what i do with socrative specifically when i'm teaching uh, reading comprehension is that i paste the exact sentence from where the answer was found and by doing this students are practicing also their scanning skills through going back to the text and finding this uh, sentence within the text so now all i need to do is copy the sentence that shows where i found the answer from and i copy and paste it into the section of the feedback Following this, I need to make sure that I select the correct answer. As you could see here, it's in green. In order to add another question, all you need to do is select what kind of question you would like to add. For example, multiple choice, true, false or short answer. And once you select what kind of question you want to add, you just click on it and you type in the next question you want to have in your Socrative quiz. And it is as simple as that. You could add as many questions as you wish. And following this, your Socrative quiz is ready and set to be launched. And you also have the option of adding a picture to the question uh, if you wish, for example, for a true false uh, or for, for example, uh, a question about synonyms or antonyms, for reviewing vocabulary, for selecting the correct definition of a word. You could have a picture of the word and select the correct uh, definition for that picture and so on. So there are so many different ways of how you could implement and use Socrative in your classroom. So I'm just going to add a few more questions and finish this quiz 
and show you what it would look like at the end. So now I have basically finished all the questions I would like to add in my quiz and I'm going to save the uh, stages I have worked on so far and my quiz is ready to be launched. In order to launch the quiz, I click on launch, I go to quiz and then I select the quiz I want to launch. Of course, it's uh, a story, Sarah, Sarah Smiles Again, and I select how I want to launch the quiz. And the way of how I want to launch the quiz is that it's student controlled. So on one browser, I'm uh, accessing Socrative as a teacher, and I'm gonna log in as a student using another browser. On this browser, I'm logged in as a teacher and let's just open up another browser and log in as a student. Once I log in as a student, all I need to do is type in the code number of the uh, quiz and then I type in the name I want to access the quiz with. And the moment I'm logged in as a student, I start to work with the questions that appear. And I control the pace of when I move on to the next uh, question. Now, this is the browser, browser of the student. And if I go back to the browser of the teacher, I would see exactly how the student is progressing. And of course, in this section, you can have plenty of participants. You could have more than over 50 participants performing the quiz at the same time. And you are monitoring the progress of each and every student. All right, thank you for watching the tutorial about how to use Socrative. And I really hope you get to use this fascinating tool in your classes. And you have so many options of how to use it and implement it in your classroom. Thank you.